The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is opening your dance floor cold. Brr, cold people. Cold. What I mean by that is opening a dance floor with a dance song, not a slow song, not a line dance, not a gimmick, nothing. Just saying, hey, the dance floor is now open and playing a dance song, okay? That's what I mean by opening your dance floor cold. Do you guys do that? Do you guys do that? I never used to. Only till... I, I did it every once in a while, last couple years, but I did, I will admit, you know, I used to always, and then, you know, up until last, like, two, three years... Um, I think three years ago, I, st I, I started doing this like uh, heavy, heavy. Um, I would rely on a slow dance, okay? And I'm, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this, right? So you're about to open up the dance floor. You pick out a good slow dance, right? Maybe at last, unchained melody. Can't help falling in love, thinking out loud, perfect, right? Right? We all use the same ones, right? Yep. Yep. You're nodding your head right now. I know you are. You, you, you pick the perfect slow dance, you play it. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like pretty much everybody's done dinner. So at this time, we'd like to officially open up the dance floor for all of our romantic couples. If you came here with someone special, bring them out to the dance floor at this time. The dance floor is now open. Something to that effect, right? You MC it. You play the slow song, people trickle out. Hopefully by the end of the slow song, you got a good amount of people. You hit them with a banger and you keep it moving. Right. I posted um, I, I did a whole video on like different ways to get pack your dance floor. And uh, someone actually uh, commented it. He was like, no, nah, man, no nah, slow dance and then hit him with a banger. Best way ever. Never deviate. Da, da, da. You know, and it made me think about this. And um, and I get it. I did the slow dance thing for a, a long time because it's easier on the ego. The hardest part about opening up a dance floor cold, just literally saying, all right, looks like pretty much the same, you know, introduction. It looks like pretty much everybody's done dinner. So we're about to get this party started. The dance floor is now officially open or whatever you say. Right. And then, and then you hit a dance song. The hardest part about that is the, the hit to your ego, because when you open it up, there's nobody on the dance floor. And for the first minute of the song, you, you start getting people trickling out, but like a minute's a long time and you, you don't got a packed dance floor yet. You have to wait a solid two, three minutes before there's some people there. Sometimes, listen, if you got a great crowd, they'll, 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 they'll swarm it and it's no problem. But like an average crowd, two, three minutes, you'll have some people there and it might take you a couple songs to really pack it. It might take you like two, three songs. You got to like play the right shit and mix it right. And then people will slowly, you know, make, you know, come, come on and then, and then you pack it that way. So you have to deal with the quote unquote, like ego hit, like embarrassing where you, you, you have your lights going, you know, it's, uh, you said the dance floor is open, you're dancing them, you're trying to make people dance and the dance floor is not packed at that moment, you know, and, and, and it's a tough thing to kind of get over, you know, you, but trust me when I tell you this, you got to just, just, just suck it up and do it. I think it's a great, great, great thing. Um, it, 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 it just, it works out for the better. You're not like tricking people into it. It, it you know, and you don't want to do a slow song every single time. More and more couples are saying, how many slow songs are you going to play? You're not going to play too many, right? Like one, maybe like, I don't really want too many slow songs. You know, like Santi told me he never even slow danced at his wedding or his wedding at, at his prom. He didn't even slow dance at his prom. They had no slow dances. You know, like I, I, I don't know if slow dances are going away, but they're definitely more for older people. And you definitely just at least want to have the balls and at least want to do this once a wedding where you open it up cold at least once. Um, I, cause you, it just, it gets redundant. If you do, if you, if you open up the dance floor for a slow song, then stop for cake, then open up the dance floor, a slow song, then play another slow song in between your dance set to break things up later. It's like three slow songs. It's like, we get it guy. Okay. You're playing a slow song and then, you know, uh, all right, let's go, you know, and then, and then you, then you hit a banger afterwards, you know, opening it up cold, you know, gives you a different way to do things. And I, I don't want to say it's better, but I just, I, I just, it's different. It's just not a lot of people do that. So many people rely on the same shit. So it just sets you apart, you know, and give you some tips with opening up cold, uh, cold right? You got to have faith and uh, you got to, um, you got to what you call it. I, I like to use songs that have memorable intros. 
that have like uh like you know cool intros where longer intros sometimes you know like all right run around sue uh here's my story it's sad but true right you ever listen to the beginning of run around sue before the drums hit right you play it from that part so you still have 45 seconds for people to kind of trickle out there while that intro is going okay same thing with don't stop till you get enough the dum dum and he's like talking, right? 24K Magic has a great intro. I, I learned that from Dave, uh, uh, Digital Dave. The jump around with the din, the horns, right? I just, these are four I thought off the top of my head. There's a bunch of other ones. Hot and Here's one, you know, just, you know, memorable intros, you know, uh, where, 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 and where they're longer too, where people hear it and it's like, all right, so you're not like just jumping right into it and people can kind of like make their way out and then like kind of like, groove and like maybe even be on the dance floor when the, and anticipate the beat hitting you know I think it works a lot better when you do it that way I actually I remember when I started uh doing this more often I worked with this guy named Chris Devine follow him I think his name's uh, I think it's at Chris Devine or at DJ Chris Devine on Instagram he, he's a great DJ and he does a lot of uh he does some weddings and he does a lot of clubs too mainly like a lot of clubs in in, in my area and we, we teamed up, I did, well, I just did production for his wedding one time. Me, me and Santi were off and we did the production on his wedding and he did not play one single slow song. Every time he opened up the dance floor, the, his MC went out there and was just like, all right, dance floor's open. And they just started dropping bangs. And I was like, and when he first did it, I was like, oh God, oh man, I, uh, but it worked. And I was like, okay. And then he did it again the next time. I was like, oh God, but it worked. And they did it again the next time and it worked. And it's just like a little awkward in the beginning, but once you get over that, you're you're really building a dance floor, you know what I mean? Like it, it it does work out, and I just think you know, I'm not telling you guys to do this because it's like the best way ever to do it. Okay, the easiest way obviously is to play a slow dance. The even easier way obviously is to play a line dance if they'll do it, and and whatever you know, or a gimmick, or the napkin game, or any. I know about all those tricks. The the group photo, right? You guys do the group photo. I'm sure someone commented that. What about the group photo? You bring, get the photographer, get everybody on the dance floor for a group photo, and then blah, and then hit a dance song, right? That's a good one. I don't do that every wedding. You know, it's it's also a little gimmicky for me, but like it's cool if the couple want. You know, I don't know. It's 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 an option, right? So you got you got all these options. But the main reason why I'm recommending you guys start doing this and at least doing it once a wedding and just getting over the fear of it and and making this work is because I do think that slow songs are going out. I think slow songs are you know are going to be requested less and less. And it's going to be, uh, it's gonna, it's getting to the point where more and more couples aren't going to want them at all, or maybe just one. And you're not just going to open up your dance floor once, you know, you're going to have to open up your dance floor more than once. If you have any type of formalities, if you want to break things up in any way, shape or form, you know, you're going to have to open up your dance floor more than once. You're going to have to tell everybody to get on the dance floor more than once. So you need to have this in your bag. You need to know how to do this. You need to have the balls to do it. So you're prepared for these situations. Trust me. And if it hasn't reached your market, if you're in a market, I always get a comment. Oh, Nick, I'm from Tennessee and we play nine, not nine slow songs a night. It, 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 we play two back to back four times and then one at the end. And then I play one while they're walking out and I play one while, you know, all right, I get it. Okay. You, it still works for you, but trust me, eventually it's going to catch up. Everything catches up. Everything catches up and you're going to be playing less and less and you're going to need other options to open up a floor. And, you know, I, I think this is a great one. It really does. It, 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 it works. It really does work. OK, especially if you stack the cards in your favor, bringing it back to cocktail hour, bringing it back to dinner that we talked about earlier, mixing live programming, you know, reading the crowd during dinner and cocktail hour and building that awesome vibe. When you ask them to dance, they're going to be ready to dance, you know? I mean, another two, another aspect of it too, I realized there was a couple times in, in the last year where I said, hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. We're going to officially open up our dance floor. They literally cheered when I said, open up the dance floor. And then right after open up the dance floor, I say to a slow song, and then I play a slow song for all romantic couples. And it's literally like, woo! Oh. I literally have had that happen multiple times to me. And I was like kind of embarrassed. I was like, damn, why am I playing a slow song? They were the, you know what I mean? So then they just sat in the outskirts. Maybe they pet, you know, maybe they pity slow dance. Maybe they just did a slow dance because all right, you know, they're with a date. Anybody who's single at the wedding's not gonna slow dance, right? Unless somebody's shooting their shot. And and then they just waited in the shadows until I played a fast song and then they came out to the fast song. Like, you know what I mean? So, you know, there's been so many times where I played slow songs this year and, and not a lot of people came out. Only five, six, seven couples, you know? And I'm like, all right, well, we've got to build this up. And once I played a dance song, then people came out, you know? I'm seeing the signs. I'm just seeing the signs. So if you've never done this or if you don't do this, I every wedding, 
Every single wedding, do it, okay? Do it with the right song. Have the game plan. Have the next couple songs you want to mix ready as well, you know, so, so you know what kind of what you want to do. And when you're mixing as well, another tip I'll give you. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> that's a lot to talk to you guys about. I feel bad. E- earfuls. Like, <laughs> There'll be highlights, okay, so you can consume it later or if you got shit to do. Um, the, uh, another thing is when you're mixing, uh, uh, you, know, you open up a dance floor of cold and you're mixing. So you play the first song. Let's say you start out with Run Around Sue, okay? Look at the dance floor. Who's out there, okay? Is it more older people out there, more younger people, good mix? Like, where are you at? If it's more older people, then, like, I'm going to shoot to go into a newer song. Okay, not like a newer song where that the old people won't like a newer song that everybody would like, like a Bruno Mars type shit, right? Like, like, you know, newer, but not super crusty. Same thing, opposite. You start with like Jump Around or something like that, and you get like all the, the bridesmaids, groomsmen, all the young people, they're bopping, they're having a great time, you know, but there's not a lot of old people out there when I just started that dance floor. Then I'm going to make a little plan to kind of like get into staying alive or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to get into something a little older, you know, December 1963, uh, four. I fucking forget. But you know what I mean? Like I'm going to play an older song, you know, that everyone will like to get a little older people out there, and then now I'm moving. And that's how you can really fill the dance floor, right? You get the initial shock wave of people, and then like you, f- you get the fillers. You know, that's how you gain more people. Because obviously, the first song you played, if they didn't come out, they didn't like that song, right? You know, that wasn't their song. They might have stayed on the dance floor and danced to it if they were already dancing, but it's not a song that would make them come out to a dance floor. So you want to look, look at the crowd, analyze the crowd, figure, figure out what you're missing in this crowd, who is sitting down still after you open up the dance floor cold, and then transition into that stuff to, to fill it more and get more people and, and, and then build that way. And then you're off and then you're good to go. Okay, that's my advice. Highly recommend do this at least once every single wedding. It will come in handy. It will be a different way to do things. It will work. And uh, yeah, and it'll help your confidence and your ego as well. Okay, don't 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 be scared. Don't be hiding behind your facade. Okay, worried about uh, worried about people dancing and all that shit. 